Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Priscilla. Um, on the channel, we believe you're never too young to reach your full potential. Um, today I'm talking to you guys about things I wish I knew before um, becoming a nurse, venturing into the nursing field and going into nursing field and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, stay tuned because there are some um, tips and tricks that, um, and some advice, you know, uh, that I wish someone would have told me before going into the field. Um, and I kind of was kind of like, yeah, my mom's a nurse, you know, I know a few nurses, I know what I'm doing. I'm a nurse CNA. <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> just no, no. So let's get started, jump right in here. So my number one thing that I wish I had taken seriously. Um, and obviously other people told me nursing school obviously is no joke. Um, you really need to prioritize that. I didn't really, I was like, everyone's experience is different, blah, blah, blah. You know, I've got a really good high GPA. Um, but I got punched in the face. It felt like when you first start that first nursing school class, it's just so um overwhelming um it's so there's so much that you have to learn and even if you've had the um as a nurse uh cna or a nursing assistant if you've done that job um it's still you know you're jumping um and you're becoming licensed and um you're you're learning so much more and i did not i was not prepared for that first day of school it was very overwhelming um everyone lots of people cried. I kind of just was like, what have I done? <laughs> um, so, so just think about, um, that nursing school is a commitment. Like it is your child. It is your husband. It is your, it is what you're eating, breathing. Um, if you don't have to work during that, don't, um, if you can work PRN, go ahead and do that. Um, because that is your priority. If you got in, you can definitely get through. Um, so that's one thing. I mean, hindsight is 2020 because my mom was like, girl, don't be doing all these jobs while you're in nursing school. But did I listen though? I listened in the end. Um, I listened in the end and I got a PRN job. I, well, I changed my job to PRN versus full time. And some people can do it. Some people are like, I knew this mom, she was taking care of her son. She was a single parent and she was working full time and she was doing all these things. And I was like, um, first of all, I don't have a child. <laughs> well, I didn't have a child. And I was like, how are you alive? Like, what do you, like, what are you doing? Um, what are you doing that I'm not doing? Um, obviously it's the drive for people and it's definitely, um, you've got something to fight for. If you've got a family, like you got no other choice. And for me, obviously I'm not saying that it was like, I wasn't motivated, but um, I had to find my intestinal fortitude, um, my internal why. So, um, but I ended up doing it. I am killing it, you know, getting through, got my LPN, got my RN, you know, so let's <laughs> let's go guys that's my number one thing that i just like okay that was a reality punch number two i once i graduated became a nurse and all that stuff um the one of the things that i was had fear of was killing somebody um i know it just took a dark turn for you guys sorry about that um, I definitely did not want to kill somebody. Um, obviously, life and death is not in our hands. Um, that is in the hands of God. But I did not want to be a contributing factor to somebody's um, to somebody's death. And that's something that really part of the reason why I kind of was always really cautious, really careful. Um, I always tried to do what was right for my patient and be a patient advocate. Obviously, not everybody may everyone everybody may not have that fear, but I'm like, listen, this is a baby. You know, I was working in the NICU, working in maternal and OB gyne, 
Um, and obviously if you're in the ICU, you're not trying to kill nobody's baby. Like I just was not going to have that on my conscious. It's my dogs. <laughs> the doggies. Um, but I did not want that on my conscious. Obviously. Anywho, I did not want that on my conscious. Um, and I strive to do the best so that I can be better and be a better nurse for my patients. Because you know what? It's about them. Especially when you have a little life. Like, I just can't. Oh, I just could not. <laughs> I care too much. <laughs> and that's also, it's a good thing. It's a, it's a, it's a blessing and it can be also a curse because, um, it's I care I care so I, I mean I don't know I would want and obviously we have our good days and our bad days but I I did not want to do that and I did not want to harm anybody in the factor in in the hospital or in any place that I've ever worked um, and I do not want to do that at all um, I want to bring joy I want to bring peace relief um, happiness to the kids and the babies and the adults that I work with um, and that is that's part of being a nurse you know obviously you have patients that are gonna die um, but it it's life um, so yeah sorry to just <laughs> turn that on you guys did not mean to read my notes let me get number three working three twelves in a row or just working 12 hour shifts is just not, I mean, it sounds, it's glamorized is what it is. If you are working three hour, three twelves on a busy ICU unit, like no girl, you're gonna be recovering. I was recovering for the rest of the week, especially as a new nurse. And it's not, you don't always have to be a 12 hour, it doesn't always have to be 12 hour shifts. It can be um, eight hours, it can be 10 hours as well. So keep that in mind. Certain areas of work you get to, um, certain areas of work you um, get to choose 10 or eight hours. Um, but three, three 12s is not cute and you will need some recovery time, especially if you're working nights or PMs and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, next, another tip that everyone's always saying is like, oh, you're going to be working the night shift, you know, it's okay. You're going it, to, it's okay if you start off at a night shift and it's okay if you start off at the night shift and if that's what you want to do, that's completely fine. However, you don't have to start off in the night shift. Like I started off with a PM shift. Um, I got off at 11.30 on most shifts that I ended up with. Obviously, if you have a crazy night, you end up leaving at 1 in the morning or something, or 12.30. However, um, you don't have to start off a um, graveyard shift as a new nurse. Um, and I knew a couple of nurses that started day shift um, 12 hours as well. So keep hunting if you really want that day shift, but if you really want to work in a certain area, then you can definitely um, go forth and step out and do that in um, whatever area it is that you want to work. Um, you might, you'd be like, hey, I just wanna get my foot in um, and I'll take whatever. And if they have 12 hour shifts or if they have night shift, then go ahead and do it. Um, but it's not, honestly, it's not that bad. I've worked all three shifts. <laughs> Um, days, PMs, and nights, and nights have its, has its perks, um, but also you, you're like a vampire. Um, so others, I mean, I can do a night shift video, how to survive the night shift. Um, but, um, but yeah, it's definitely doable, but you don't have to start off at the night shift. Um, always ask. Closed mouth doesn't get fed, so always ask. Um, and my last tip for nurses is something that I was really kind of naive in, especially going, starting off 
becoming going into nursing school in general that should have been like the trigger warning for me um as a cna everyone was really nice to me um i did lots of prn stuff so i wasn't really um 100 on a hospital staff um all the time so i didn't really I didn't really know no but I kind of knew you know um, but they say that nurses eat their young and especially in the beginning um, but there were a lot of older nurses on the unit that were just mean like if you're burnt out go PRN or go to a different unit but obviously they got used to you know if they're on a neonatal sh uh, a neonatal uh, unit they got used to working with babies and they're not gonna lift and they've been there for 50 years and they've been doing this and you know they're the cream of the crop and they're rude to you because you're new um, and I didn't realize that it was such a big deal being new um, but you know there's a lot of there's a lot of great older nurses that were awesome um, you know, took me under their wing that, you know, they were awesome. Um, but then there were a lot of older, well, a few older nurses that were just like, ew, no, they were just mean uh, for no reason. It's like, I am I will help. I will, like, why are you here? You obviously need nurses. I obviously got hired for a reason. Uh, why are you being so mean and rude to me? Um, and obviously kill them with kindness. I am not someone that will, you know, I'm not, a, I'm, I'm not someone that would like go off or be mean or be rude, um, to people just cause it's just not in my nature. Um, but I also, um, it's just so stressful on top of being in a stressful environment on top of being new um you've got these older nurses that are just too old to be bullying people and sometimes even the more seasoned nurses um can be kind of like clicky and kind of like kind of got to be sort of like high school and it was just like mm. yeah no i do not i don't know it's just too much sometimes but uh, you live and you learn and you get through it and you find your people um, I trust me, lots of awesome people are nurses and um, lots of friends that, you know, I can call right now and they'll be like, what do you need, girl? <laughs> so it's definitely an awesome field to go into. Don't want to deter anyone from it. And I guess everyone has that kind of stuff in their field. It's going to be a little different for everybody. Um, but, um, but yeah, I guess everyone's experience is different as well uh, but just keep that in mind guys especially if you're going to the nursing field um but yeah thank you so much for watching if you wait if you have stayed this long thank you thank you very much um like comment subscribe and have an awesome day